Welcome to technical drawing. Today we are going to solve this sum in copy isometric. First we will draw a layout. Then you take 30 30 degree on both the side and we will mark length width and height and we'll complete the box. Width is 40 plus 10 plus 15 so it is 65. Height is 25 plus 25 plus 20 plus this is 30. It is not given. I'll just write it down. So total height is 100. And width is 50. So first we'll complete the box. After that, we'll draw this part. How much is this? 15. So you take 15, then you go down by 30. Then you take 10. After that you go down by 20. Then again you take 40. Then again you go down by 25. Now this is 25. So you take 25. Now whatever is here, the same thing is behind. Whatever is there in the front, the same thing is behind. So with that concept, I can take all the points behind by 50. Now after this, we'll draw this 10, 30, 10. This line will be dark. So we'll get this block, rectangular block of 10 by 25 on both the side. We have a circle in between. So for that we need to draw rhombus. Diameter is 30, so from center we'll mark 15, 15, 15, 15. See this way we can draw rhombus. Remember in isometric we draw circle by 4 center method. Now in this you draw longest diagonal. Midpoint, midpoint, 
from this corner you join opposite midpoint this is 1 this is M see this 1 to M you can draw an arc then again from this point that is 2 2 to M again you draw curve Then you take this point down by 25. This is one dash. Then you take again same radius. It's called copy paste method. You take the radius, you go down and again you draw the same radius. See this. Now after this, we can mark 20, 10, 20 because of that slope. This will be straight and this is 20. So I can mark 20. And I can join like this. Then again I can take how much? 10. So this will be dark. So we are almost done with the lower portion. Now we need to draw a circle at the top. So this much is fine. Now we need to see radiuses. See this radius? That is 25. So we need to draw a rhombus of 50. So I'll take 50, I'll mark midpoint. Here also I'll mark 50. Then I'll draw longest diagonal. Then from that corner. Now see this is 50, so that's why. Rhombus of size 50 by point 0.1 you mark then you mark point M join to the opposite corner always remember point 0.1 would be uh, will have angle more than 90 now if you see this is 5, 5 mm up so this is 5 mm straight see total is 30 from top and then we have a radius 25 so 5 mm height would be there now we take 1 to m and draw arc same way from point 2 2 to m and you draw another arc Now the same arc is behind, so we can take point 0.1 and 2 behind by how much? 15. Now we take 1 to M. go behind by 15 that is one dash now remember one thing take this radius and you go behind and let's say if you feel that there is slight error then the best thing is to take the width and you cut it on that so at times you will see 1 mm error so how to nullify it by taking width directly from the diagram 
See, this is the width, right? Take that width from two, you cut it behind. So that is your real two dash. Take this distance, go behind. Now we need to draw radius 15. So again we need to find out center and from center we need to cut 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5 that is 15, 15, 15, 15 and we'll draw rhombus and again we'll follow the same method. So now this point would be 3, 3 to M, this is 4, this is 5, sorry that is 4. Now take 1 to M, sorry 3 to M and draw arc, same way 4 to M and draw another arc. Then you draw this line which is diameter and then you take this line behind by width how much it is 15 in this you can't see the behind part so after that you can do labeling and dimensioning remember in dimensioning we have to do only length width and height And you draw axis also wherever you will have a center over there you can show axis thank you